Hello, and welcome to the June market update. This is uh, Johnny Ustry of the Ustry Group and son and business partner Jeff Ustry of the Ustry Group. Uh, we're here to give you a market update. And uh, Jeff, what are you seeing in the uh, publications? What are the experts saying? Yeah, we were looking through um, some different articles. This one in the Wall Street Journal stuck out on uh, June 10th. Uh, this is when this was written. Uh, after an epic two-year run, not just in Austin, Texas, but in major cities around the country, the luxury real estate market is finally cooling. Meanwhile, buyers are grappling with inflation. This year's interest rate hike in the volatile stock market, gas prices in the war in Ukraine are adding to the feelings of economic uncertainty, effectively throwing cold water on luxury sales. Uh, the number of luxury homes defined as the top 5% of the market um, that sold during a three-month period from February 1st to April 30th dropped 18% compared with the numbers of the sales running from the same period in 2021. Wow. And the last part here is uh, they say prices are still holding, but they're unlikely to keep reaching new heights as buyers retreat. Um, we had unsustainable, huge demand last year. Uh, the high net worth are somewhat immune to this, but they're looking at all these things and saying, do I wanna wait or do this now? Big question. Um, and it's interesting as you read different publications or different articles, for example, this was today, uh, we're recording this on June 22nd, and the title of this article says, Home Prices Still Rising as Sales Cool. How can that be? Well, what they're referring to is home prices are still rising slightly, but the number of sales are declining. And the data here, it says, sales of previously owned homes slid for a fourth straight month, declining 3.4% in May from the prior month. Uh, and then June 20th, the National Association of Realtors said May sales fell 8.6% from a year earlier. So the impact of higher mortgage rates have not been fully reflected in the data, said Lawrence Young, National Association of Realtors Chief Economist. In the upcoming months, I do anticipate a further decline in home sales. Not exactly what we'd like to hear. Uh, Doug Duncan, Chief Economist at Fannie Mae, said he expects year-over-year -year house price growth of around 5% by the end of 2022. So what they're predicting, Jeff, is that, that we're still going to make sales, but prices aren't going to be increasing 18 20% you know, like they have in the past year or two, or, or number of sales, I should say. Now, same paper, Wall Street Journal, same date <laughs> it was today's paper. And the title of this is, The U.S. Faces a Housing Bust. Well, the National Association of Realtors measure of home affordability based on mortgage rates, home prices, and household income showed that as of April, existing homes were at their least affordable level since July of 07. They're even less affordable now. On Tuesday, the NAR said the median price on existing home rose to $407,000. In April, where Freddie Mac, while Freddie Mac reported last week that the average rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage was 5.78%, almost 6%. This compares to, you know, what, six months ago of 2.65%. Huge swing in the interest rates. So it's difficult to imagine a revival in the housing market unless homes get a lot more affordable. The boom brought on by the pandemic was nice while it lasted. Here comes the bust. So... Did the guy who wrote this article read this article? And did the guy who wrote this article read this article? Who knows? The one thing I do know with certainty is the uncertainty of the market. We don't know. No one can predict. So what we do know is prices are still good right now. So if you're looking to sell, uh, if you've been trying to max out or whatever, you may be at the top. We're not calling that, but it's a good time definitely to get your home on the market. So if we can be of help in any way, the key to this whole process with the uncertainty is make sure you work with someone that knows what they're doing. Work with an agent that's experienced and can help you through these uncharted waters. Uh, Jeff and I would love to assist you. So if we can, if you give us a call. Uh, my mobile number is 843-384-8105. Mine's 843-247-8500. Thank you very much, and then let us know how we can be of assistance.